Hey everyone, Technometer here with a video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up Apple Cache on your iPhone. So let's get started. So Apple Cache is different from any other Apple Pay. It basically allows you to send and receive cash on the Messages app and you can send payments as well. So in order to set it up, you open up your wallet, but a couple things you need, you need to be at least 18 years old and live in the United States currently. It's one of the supported countries, might be open to other countries. Later on, you also need to make sure you have two-factor on on your account and be signed into your Apple account. So what you can do is go into your settings, make sure you're signed into Apple account, and then along with that, you wanna see in your sign-in security here, uh, that two-factor is on as well. So once you have those things on, you're going to get ready to set up Apple Cash. Simply open up the wallet app on your iPhone. From there on, you're gonna see there's the cash option here, and then it gives you the option to set up Apple Cash so you can send and receive money in messages or wallet. So click on that. And from there on, all you're gonna do is hit continue here, put in your, as you can see your phone's passcode here or face ID, and it's gonna start setting up your Apple Cash for your Apple ID account. So as you can see here, it's setting up on here. So let's go ahead and wait till it finishes. And you're gonna just follow the prompt as well. Make sure you're connected to the internet as well. And as you can see here, cash is ready and we're good to go. We're gonna hit continue. Uh, you can also add a debit card with it so that you can use that to send money. So that's how you can send money. You can add that or already add it later. But again, I recommend you adding a debit card so that you can send money as well, receive money. And then we'll go ahead and just set up later. And it's set up and it shows me the balance here. Currently I have zero dollars here, which is fine, but that's how you can do it. Uh, and then pay with passcode. So if you do it, you can pay it with passcode or double click here, but you're ready to go and you'll see a balance of zero if you don't have anything. But from now on, you can go ahead and send and receive money with Apple Cash. So that's how you do it. I hope this video is helpful. If so, please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks for your iPhone. We'll see you guys next time.